What's cracking everyone and welcome back to more creepy videos. It's the official day where I'm back making regular content. So if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tickle the notification bell and let's dive in. This is the snow that I melted today. And then I put a big magnet on the outside of this glass. And I'm just rolling the magnet around the glass. That's what I'm doing. See? Magnet glass. That's pretty creepy. Anyone guess why we have that in our water? Let's see. and Let's see what we could do over here. Oh, nice. That's great. Very weird. All right. That's all of that. Be safe. We all know that they can't help but spread the peasant killer in the atmosphere. However, metals like aluminum and lithium don't magnetize. So the question here is what other kind of chemicals are they pumping into us? Can somebody enlighten me on what's going on here? In Walgreens, there are these coolers and this is where our drinks used to, you know, we can just open it up and grab. Now it's kind of like all cartooned all the way down. So if you look here, then I'm looking here and there's a sensor there and a sensor there. It says, wave your hand. Voice assistant coming soon. Okay, pretty soon these doors aren't gonna be opening. Really thick, actually. But this is where the food is. So what do you think this means for us as people of the United States of America? What does it mean? Hmm? Wave your hand. Look at that. Why would that be on a door just to get drinks? Just saying. And it's all the way down. Watch your money. Watch your hand. Because pretty soon they're going to make us chip it. That's all. The cashless antichrist base system is practically here and it's unfortunate that so many people are going to be deceived into taking the mark of the base through the right hand of the forehead to buy and sell. And the worst thing about it is once we go fully digital, we may as well just put handcuffs on our own wrists at that stage because we're going to be fully enslaved. President Biden. Speaking of the devil and he shall appear, well, I know some of you are looking at that clip going, what, what the hell's the point here? The leg of Obama becomes transparent. You can see the bars behind him. So make of that as you will. First thing I notice walking in the door are these drag marks. I'm sent out to do a quick photo shoot of this house that I think used to be a church. The problem was that at times it almost felt like the house itself was watching me. It's always important to check all the doors to make sure you don't miss anything, but when the door's boarded shut, you just gotta move on. At this point, it's time to go investigate these drag marks just a little bit closer. And of course, there'd be a creepy door. Why couldn't this just have been a closet? Looking around the corner, it was apparent that this led to a basement. A basement with the steepest stairs I've ever seen. And this is not at all what I expected. But this was. What would you do? Would you investigate it? That whole place is super sketchy, but if I was that guy, I would have tucked those shelves down and kicked that white door open because that was super sketchy. 
Hey, how are you? I'm down there in the other spot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big house. I ain't know if it's the right one, because this one right here is to the flowers and some other stuff, so. Oh, yeah. I, it, no, this, it's actually a funeral home. Oh, this is a funeral home? Yeah, I live in the apartment upstairs. You said you live in there? Yeah, I live upstairs. My parents own the funeral home. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Okay. Yeah. So his bodies in there, you say? Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> That. So, I mean, this is where we're going to chill at and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, I ain't trying. I ain't really tripping. Yeah. <laughs> <Just a> little... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you'll be fine. Yeah, no, I ain't worried about that. I mean, but if you want to go out to eat, we can go out to eat. It's up to you. Oh, no, actually, I already cooked for you. Oh, okay. What you make? My you specialty. Make... What? Liver and onions. L liver, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You tripping. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be to walk in and come out now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I ain't trip. You know, I'm from the hood. I ain't trip all day. So. Yeah. But uh, you ready to go in? It's kinda... I mean, I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So uh, I mean, lights work and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Everything yeah. works. Yeah. Damn funeral. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to run. No <laughs> but um, look. Let's go somewhere else, girl. You know what I mean? Cause I ain't scared. It ain't about none of that. I'm just saying you don't want to go nowhere else. Well, let's at least just go inside real quick. What she said, she got liver and onions for dinner. That just got me that. The internet's going crazy. This guy's being held against his will. And as you can tell, look at him. He looks terrified. Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. Who just bought you all this stuff? She did. And all the stuff? My girl bought all of it. And I'm about to eat this. And then we're gonna chow on that after. So, and happy yeah. Easter. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not eating at all. Just know that, cause we gotta save some. Yeah. You know, budget cuts. You know. <laughs> happy Easter. Save, save, save. You know. So we're gonna scoff this stuff down. Cause, Relax. cause Boo deserved it. <laughs> you know. Even though we get in our arguments sometimes, I still love you, okay? I love you too. Yeah. I love you too, babe. Yeah, you, you better. <laughs> so I just spent some money on you. Yeah. I honestly hope this isn't real. I mean, if it isn't real, he's a really good actor. But he has that kind of face and that kind of aura about like the whole situation that just kind of does scream victim to me. And that's really, really sad. Like, no one should be a victim of that BS. Like, You're not supposed to be here. I could park here. What are you trying to fucking hypnotize me? Get away from me! No, I... Shit, I think you almost had me. Those were some wild days, Dad. Like, he almost hypnotized me. Either the pilot has gone loop to loop or he just can't get enough of that sweet, sweet peasant killer, I would just go with the latter. <laughs> Any of you guys who don't want Wimpy Kid for another term, then just show up at his rallies wearing a bunny suit and that will just sort it all out. That's the Billy I know. You know, the one that looks like one breath away from meeting God. But last night at the fundraiser, man, he looked spry. He looked young. The man on your right is definitely Bill. That's a man that's married to Hillary Clinton. We're going to call this one Phil. He looks single. He looks spry. He looks, he's bopping around town, snapping his fingers. Does it not bother you that our leaders are crypt keepers? Like geriatrics, like I can smell the icy hot coming off of that photo. I mean, speaking of old, have you seen King Charles' hands? I'm not a surgeon, 
by any means, but I think that we're gonna have to amputate. He's actually wore that pinky ring since 1852. In this photo, it looks like a prop hand. It's like being felt up by a five pack of bratwurst. Then this picture the other day. You go ahead and drive, I can't feel my hands. Listen, I'm a father of boys, and that looks like a circumcision gone wrong. Yeah, that's not Bill Clinton, unless of course he's been at the egg room again, but as for Charlie Boy, his hands look like they're about to explode lizard juice. Next stop, Bree Street. I understand that this is happening all around the world, but it seems to me that there's such an epidemic in America right now. You know, you used to have Skid Row, which is the only place in America. Now it seems there's like a branch chain of Skid Rows. And it's sad to say, but it's also evidence to suggest to us people that the government has just neglected their own, the, the people. And as a result of that, people haven't been able to make their mortgage payments or their bills and have been forced to be homeless, you know, and eventually falling into taking those kind of things and we have to understand as well that that's someone's family that's like your brother or sister or a father or a son or a daughter or a mother you know and it can easily happen to any of us you know many of us just don't realize that You see what we want you to see. You know, it's only a matter of time before this technology does deceive the masses. And imagine if like on the 8th of April, the whole eclipse thing wasn't an eclipse at all, but rather a trial run uh, to see who could fall victim and how many people would be deceived. Laser technology was used to build the sophisticated buildings we see from the past. There is no way these buildings were carved from a hammer and chisel, nor was this built without the assistance of electrical advanced machines. The detail in these stone carved buildings reflect how advanced the human mind was in these periods of time. These buildings you see are thousands of years old. What we've been told as history does not match with what we see well that's because history is his story i don't know how the tartarians carved the buildings the way they did i mean it would make sense that they use some form of like laser technology or whatever it may be but all i do know is that our history has been lied to and the buildings that we architect these days is built on on lego blocks six things fema doesn't want you to know now everybody keeps asking about what fema is what they do what everything Share with everyone, let's get into it. The Federal Emergency Management Agency was created in 1979 for emergency management and civil defense. Since then, we have seen FEMA respond to countless disasters throughout the United States and its fair share of mismanagements and failures. The FEMA trailers are toxic. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, FEMA ordered the purchase of 120,000 trailers and mobile homes to provide. The problem was that many people suffered nosebleeds, headaches, and respiratory infections. The trailers also often had a strong chemical smell inside of them. As it turned out, the formaldehyde levels were off the charts in these trailers. The real issue is the link between formaldehyde, mobile homes, and trailers is well known. Still, the government didn't regulate it because trailers and mobile homes were considered temporary housing. FEMA's financial assistance is dramatically unfair. FEMA's own internal investigations have revealed that low-income households will receive much less financial aid than higher-income households. Now, this is true even when the value of the repair costs is factored into the equation. The problem is that when poor neighborhoods are not allotted the funding to rebuild, the people who once called it home will likely abandon the area to rebuild their lives elsewhere. They may not have enough food and water for you and your family after a disaster. Hurricane Katrina was a masterclass in what not to do as a federal government when faced with a massive hurricane. 
FEMA had supply failures that made the aftermath of the storm so much worse for everyone caught in it. Even though they pre-positioned some supplies, it was not nearly enough for the number of people who actually needed them. FEMA has severe staffing shortages too. If there is no constant throughout 2022 and 2023, is that everyone in every industry is having difficulty finding and retaining employees. The same is true for organizations like FEMA. The problem FEMA faces is that disasters are becoming more frequent and the personnel required must have specific skills and qualifications. Unfortunately, many people currently looking for work don't have the qualifications that FEMA is looking for and they can't be quickly obtained. FEMA spends too much money and time responding to disasters that the state could easily respond to. FEMA is only supposed to respond to disasters that the states involved cannot handle on their own. But unfortunately, the reality is that FEMA has a habit of spending time and money and resources responding to disasters where they're not needed. FEMA's disaster financial assistance will certainly be too little and very late. After a disaster, the clock is ticking to begin repairing the damage done to private homes. Unfortunately, every hour and every day that pass without starting the necessary repairs results in the problems caused by the disaster piling on and increasing exponentially. The fact that they will provide more aid to households with higher incomes as opposed to households with lower incomes just tells us everything that we need to know about them. But we also know how big a part they're going to play in the future when all these events take place. I love how this kangaroo is just being a complete creep, but yeah, caption this and let me know in the comment section. If you know, you know, but are they all blood rings? That's, that's the question. A new private ambulance service offering patients the opportunity to be seen quicker it takes to the road this week, but it's only available for those who are prepared to pay for the service. Critics say that's unfair and could lead to better, faster care, but only for some. If I want one of these ambulances, I call up, give my credit card details, and pay £99. £99. If it turns out I need further services, the cost will rise. The bill for going to hospital is still being worked out, but the total could end up being around 450 This can't happen. This cannot happen. For me, this can only happen under a Tory government because guess what? They only care about the rich. If you've got that, you're loving life. But many people don't have that because the government have made, made sure they don't have that. I think it's absolutely disgusting the fact that they want you to fork out 99 quid for an ambulance call out. That's just, it's just disgusting. You know, but I did say to you guys many, many videos ago that um, BlackRock and other investors have been slowly privatizing the NHS um, and the fact that over 70% of the nurses and doctors that are in the NHS actually work privately. Um, a man I knew that I used to work with, he said, Back in the 90s, his wife was diagnosed with cancer and he went to the doctors and they said that they couldn't do anything about it. He would have to wait or she would have to wait for like four or eight weeks or something. So he ended up going private. And then a week later, when he attended the appointment with his wife, it was the exact same nurse or sorry, doctor. And that was way back in the 90s, you know. Seems like Kim Kardashian might be facing some serious consequences for her alleged involvement in Diddy's activities. The latest reports suggest that during the raid on Diddy's house, authorities uncovered some disturbing footage that implicates Kim in some wrongdoing. According to leaked footage, Kim was allegedly heavily involved in Diddy's crimes and played a major role as his helper. If these allegations hold true, it could spell major trouble for Kim, potentially leading to significant prison time. It's a shocking turn of events that's sure to rock the Kardashian empire to its core. With the spotlight shining brighter than ever on Kim's actions, it's unclear how she'll navigate her way out of this potentially career-ending scandal. As the investigation unfolds and more details emerge, one thing's for certain, Kim Kardashian's world is about to be turned upside down. You know, if this is actually true, then good. I say I take down all the Hocus Pocus witches. I don't think you're ready for what I'm about to present in this video. I really don't think you're ready for what I'm about to present in this video. 
And it all starts in the most unlikely of places. A place they want us to think is nothing but a third world wasteland. But in reality, it's a place fit for a king. Well, maybe not a king, but definitely an angel. 200, as a matter of fact, 200 fallen angels. While they create propaganda, like Borat, to keep us from knowing who actually lives here and what this place actually is, I figured it out. I figured out that the top of their pyramid just happens to have a secret meeting chamber with exactly 200 perfectly aligned seats. 200 perfectly aligned seats that just perfectly matches the amount of fallen angels talked about in the Book of Enoch. 200 that just almost perfectly matches the amount of impact craters that I don't know, could have been caused from heavenly bodies crashing down to Earth. Heavenly bodies whose leader just happens to also be called Lucifer or the Light Bearer. The Light Bearer whose torch is often celebrated across all of the large cities of the world and whose torch who is oddly placed next to a giant Easter egg. An Easter egg that might actually reveal why eggs are associated with Ishtar because Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Assyrian and Babylonian goddess of fertility and sex. And maybe this city is also hiding the free energy that they're using, because I have seen these exact buildings associated with the old dirigibles that used to charge from them. But we haven't even talked about the most interesting thing that I found in this city called Istana, which just happens to be an anagram for the word Satan. And it's just down the road from this pyramid. Or should I say, right down the river from this pyramid. And I'm gonna take this time and say, all of this is pure speculation. Obviously there could be other stories here, but too many of them line up to me, way too many of them. Especially when you see what I found here. And it's what I started this video with. You look at this and you tell me that doesn't look like some sort of portal. A portal that they might just be using to try to summon some real evil to this place we live. Or maybe even just a prop to propagate their fake summoning of the return of Jesus as a hologram. All I know is there's one thing I definitely know in all of this, is that this movie was created with intention to tell a vision of what this place actually is. Because I would put my money on it that 99% of you have never heard of the city in Kazakhstan called Astana. But you guys know I'm just kidding about all this. I don't really think 200 fallen angels are the actual controllers of this place we live. That's just silly. And I definitely don't think they build an egg and a light bearing torch to worship anybody. Totally not. You guys know I just love to entertain you and create these fairy tales and stories of evil versus good that they don't really exist. I don't really believe in Satan and Lucifer and all the fallen angels. As always, guys, be sure to do your own research with most of the clips that you see in these shows. But what's your thoughts on this one? I found that it was quite interesting to, to hear that. Um, but in terms of that portal he was talking about, to me, that looks like a Ferris wheel. But that's just my opinion. <laughs>
that tree with your woman wrapped around it, I would say that's nothing more than just an art project. Um, but in terms of the tree at the start where it was bleeding blood, I just thought that was really weird. But I did look it up and it turns out that it was called a bloodwood tree. Um, very rare. I've never seen something like that before. I don't know about you guys. and I never um, heard of it before. So there you go. Stop thinking too much. Don't go into the past. Don't go into the future. Be in the present. Because only then it's possible that the mind is free, the capacity is free, and now you can completely immerse into whatever you are doing. And this means you have arrived. You have arrived. That's it. You know, Forrest Gump used to say that life was like a box of chocolates, you never know which one you're going to get. But I said that the importance in life is what's inside your bag of M&Ms, moments and memories. They got cheese, they yeah. That's the end of the show, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the creepy TikTok compilation. Go ahead and smash that like button and that subscribe button and take the notification bell for the next video. And until then, guys, please look after yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you then.